Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the reprints, the Zendikar fetch lands, where I see them in the next two months from now. So Zendikar fetch lands are going to be reprinted in Modern Masters 2017. That is very important because it should reduce and will reduce the price. Now they are reprinted as non-mythics in a set that already has a ton, a ton of value. One really important thing to note of this set, having talked to my friend, having talked to another local game store owner, they have a lot of this. Distributors have so much of this product. That's why when even though you have Lily, you have Blood Moon, you have Tamagoyf, you have Five Fetch Lands, the price is still below MSRP online. You can find it below MSRP quite easily online, and that is quite insane given the value of this set just given what's in the set so when we talk about the fetch lands they are the bottleneck and the onslaught fetch lands are not a good case example of what's going to happen to this particular set the onslaught fetch lands were once it was reprinted it went into modern so it got a new format and it was reprinted heavily in Carnes of tarkir which is a standard set so the packs in that set are $4 compared to $10 packs in Modern Masters 2017. Another really important key note is that the Zendikar fetch lands, there were more of them in Zendikar than there were Onslaught fetch lands in Onslaught. Onslaught being much, much older than Zendikar was. So when you add all these supply together and you come to the conclusion that there will be a lot of Zendikar fetch lands due to this product being printed heavily and being opened heavily, possibly drafted heavily, you're gonna look at prices that are gonna tank even more than they are today. So this is the most expensive of them at $70. You can get the Modern Masters Edition right now pre-order for $48 and dropping. I imagine that's going to drop below $40, definitely possibly below $35, and eventually hit rock bottom around $30. Now, these cards are very good, they are very useful, and they are needed in pretty much every single multicolored modern deck. I don't want to take anything away from its power level, but there's going to be way more supply. If you are a modern fan, there's no real modern events to speak of right now, so I would just wait it out and try to pick these up at the very bottom. They will, it will be a noticeable bottom. Uh, typically when a set is released, the bottom is around two months or, or 90 days. I always say 90 to 120 days would be the best time to pick up cards because that's when the most product is open. However, there's a unique twist to this. And the unique twist is Eternal Masters. They did something in Eternal Masters that was surprising, but I liked it, which is they reprinted it. They re-ran, whatever you want to call it. Maybe they have extra stock, maybe they didn't, but for all intents and purposes, they restocked on the product. And now you can get Eternal Master boxes for 180 when the MSRP is 240, same as the Modern Masters. Do I expect that to happen for this set? Yes, I do expect there to be a second print run or a second supply restocking, uh, mainly because Wizards of the Coast has changed its philosophy into modern was designed for reprints. If you're not going to reprint these Endicar fetch lands, I don't really know what you're going to reprint um, because this is the ideal card to reprint into Oblivion. And when I mean into oblivion, I truly mean that this card should be around $20. Each of these lands should be $20, $25 at most. And there's no reason that they should be or ever have been over $100, except the secondary market. So who does this hurt most? Uh, it hurts people who have gauntlets like me. Um, it hurts people who are stores, uh, who have lots of inventory. But... I got into modern knowing that I would enjoy modern, I would have the decks that I could build, and that's it. I did not get into modern to make money from it. I got into it because my friends at the time played it, and they still use my decks to play it. So 
I love the fact that they are reprinted. I think it is a very critical and important step to saving modern as a format, just make it more affordable and keep reprinting, reprint everything they can get their hands on. People are saying, oh, you know, what about this spike? What about that spike? Whatever, they're gonna reprint it eventually anyway. So I have no doubt that whatever is spiking now will go down. So where, where do I see Zendikar, Fetchlands, in terms of should you trade for them, should you not trade for them, what is going on with them, I would say wait. Wait 90 days to 120 days and see where the price is and then go in. I will be quite honest with you, I have no interest in the original Zendikar editions. The artwork is identical, plus the new editions are cheaper and they have that little holofoil stamp. The old editions have been counterfeited to Oblivion, and it is quite possible that if you go to any modern tournament, you will, I mean, the counterfeits are good enough that if you sleeve them or you double sleeve them, hard to tell at a modern tournament, and not something that I would really uh, will call someone out on, because A, it's hard to make, it's easy to make a mistake, and B, you don't want to be that kind of jerk. You know, like, I don't know, it's, I am happy to change my Zendikar editions into Modern Masters 2017 editions for the stamp. Anyway, leave me a comment below. Bye guys.